Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look and see what's manifesting for you all. Any messages or advice, any surprises, what you need to know right now. And as always, take what's resonating, leave out the rest. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldy on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by me, I'll leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with a link to my website, spirituallyglow.com, for you to view the different options for readings. All right. So, you're in a transition right now. It's like you're moving out of a difficult situation with a few people and you're moving into a calmer place a brighter place you you're cutting cords I see you having serious conversations with a few people here and making a final decision to move on and not to stay in a situation when you know that you can change it <clears throat> So there is an offer coming in for you, a love offer, an invitation. What is this? Maybe coming from a Leo. So someone is wanting to strengthen a relationship with you. <clears throat> they want to move things forward in a way that is fun. I am picking up that this is someone new. But you're uncertain or you're being very guarded right now because you see yourself in a different light. Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. You have, you have even strengthened your own discernment, your own self-worth here. And you are seeing yourself as a queen. And if you're a man watching this, you see yourself as someone with, with values, someone who deserves good things. And you're choosing not to, you're choosing not to just like fall head over heels for, for an opportunity or a love offer immediately. It's like you're wanting to see the reality of what it is and see things through in a way that is logical and not based off of emotion. Okay, Ace of Swords. You're on the verge of a breakthrough. There is a new idea here that I see you coming up with, with how to have some level of control and discernment in a way that is healthy for you, in a way that is protecting your peace. Yeah, because... You're becoming very disciplined when it comes to using your discernment even more and using the power of your mind to make good decisions and choose who or what you allow into your life here. I'm seeing King of Cups around you. So you do have someone who is willing to offer you love on a mature level. Okay, tell me about this King of Cups. They're coming into your life. I see them re really interested in you. Okay. So this is someone who's wanting to celebrate with you, wanting to go out, have a good time, eat, drink, be merry, and even bring some level of, of healing here. For some of you, this could be someone who you do care about and has even maybe been heartbroken three of swords but is wanting to devote themselves to you so something is really on the verge of, of change here but i definitely see you needing to think about things taking a moment to pause to take a break to rest maybe taking more naps sleeping more healing and getting to a better place mentally before accepting any offer. But I'm seeing you getting to a place of peace. Okay, it says, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So you are releasing any negative energy that's been in your life right now. 
some of you I'm, I'm seeing service so you may be in service to others um, but right now is a time where you are being of service to yourself helping yourself before helping others putting yourself in a position to be um, mentally at peace before you can accept anything into your life because um, I see you are someone who's very aware you're very intelligent you're very smart of uh, relationships as well and it's like you you have a lot of love to give but only to the right person and only when you're in a good place mentally so your view on relationships is really changing here and you're choosing to maybe go down a more independent path right now in order to really do some like deep shadow work deep healing with with things that have been on your mind that have been bothering you okay right now you're being called to evaluate things evaluate things if it matches up to if it matches up to the energy that you give out if someone's able to match the energy that you give if someone's able to give the love that you give and and evaluating if this is really something that is going to work out in the end for you if you can keep investing time and energy into this okay someone's moving towards you really slowly though so you may st you may still even keep someone in your life but taking things slow knight of pentacles someone is slowly you're, I'm seeing you seeing a slow change in someone. Someone is slowly changing to um, a more committed, harder working uh, individual. Or you're seeing them taking actions towards you. More actions, more um, intentional. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Slowly approaching. Okay. This person is being really cautious with how they approach you. It's like they don't want any conflict or they don't want any <laughs> they don't they don't want any problems. This person doesn't yeah, they they want to collaborate with you here. Interesting. 8 of cups reversed. So this is someone who you've kind of distanced self your distance yourself with. They've walked away or, or You've walked away, but they're still one foot in. And they're slowly wanting to uh, create a positive change here. I'm seeing this person understanding that they need to put in more actions if they want to make you happy. If they want, if they want to get to a good place with you. It says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And they're coming in with slow movements. It's They're slowly changing. If you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you. Okay. Three of Swords. So this person is crying over this or they're heartbroken. Because they feel like you are their soulmate. Okay. The fact that they've even made you unhappy hurts them. The fact that 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 they were the reason to hurting you hurts them. The sun, okay. So yeah. They are, they're not feeling good. They're not feeling good. They're not feeling good about this situation right now. They really want to, they really want a change. Genuinely with that sun. Like, the sun is, is, is genuine feelings. Someone genuinely wants to uh, change for the better. Ten of Cups. They want to settle down. King of Cups. They want a relationship they want a long-term future with you. They want it all. This person sees you as their soulmate, Libra. So what was what is what happened here? What happened here? Okay, okay. So this person at some point breadcrumbed you. Or uh, they didn't. They didn't show up when you needed them to. They didn't take actions. They they didn't um, give enough. They, 
signs that they wanted this or they wanted you. Yeah, there just wasn't enough movement here. Maybe they had other responsibilities or they were, they were giving to other situations or other people. Um, but it's saying, saying they want to change. They, they want to change. They, and I'm picking up, this is not, this is not someone who like has cheated on you in any way. Like this is someone who, um, maybe was, was distracted, but I, I don't pick up that this is someone who deceived you so that's how you'll know who they are so yes four of swords like do you release this person i feel like you are in the process of letting go of the past okay letting go of the past you're seeing a change but maybe it's not a big enough change to the point where you're like Okay, I'll give you a chance. Okay, because you were a queen. It's like you deserve a king. You deserve you deserve a king, and you deserve queen treatment. Or if you're a man, you deserve king treatment. And this person is showing up with the changes, but maybe just not enough right now. Not enough. It's just if it's not enough, it's just not enough. Okay, um, I see you gaining enlightenment through this, though, understanding that um, everyone has their own paths and their own challenges, and you're choosing to uh, prioritize your peace above everything. Something about this judgment. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Living in authenticity, uh, not Libra, Scorpio. <laughs> You're living in authenticity. You're choosing to live a life that feels right for you. Being honest with yourself, honest with others, whether or not you truly see something working out here. I'm seeing the numbers 444777. The letters T, H, S, D, M, C, E those letters they could be in your name or someone else's name but with that said this is what I'm seeing if it did resonate let me know if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day bye